Jack. These letters were never even delivered, Sam. Well, he's got a point. That's ridiculous. You were the mail person. Don't get smart. Don't get smart. Or get uptight. Uptight. Cause in the end, I will decide who is wrong or right. But first, I need more information. A little substantial evidence to support this allegation. Just give me the facts. The fact is, Hooterville has the smallest population in the country. Meaning it will have the least impact to the surrounding areas. Like it did in North Dakota? Objection! Mr. Douglas! Mr. Douglas! Now just calm down! You got no legal standing to practice law in this here town! Just stick to the facts! It seems as if Ponzi Corp has caused severe harm with another one of their power plants in North Dakota. Something about a two headed fish, Your Honor? Objection! Relevance. I'd say a two-headed fish is relevant. But there is no evidence to support this claim. You want to know what? Say what? I got a question. I got a question. When I say question, what I really mean is a gentle kind of suggestion. Why here? Why here? Why now? Why now? You need to stick the why the way and the how. Just give it a try. has the land mass and natural resources required for a plan of the size, not to mention there's no industry to speak of and we'll be creating jobs. Your Honor, the fact is we do have industry. Truffle Palooza is turning Hooterville into a thriving metropolis and I've got witnesses to prove Objection! You're out of order! This whole courtroom is out of order! Mr. Strong, you will show cool. Your Honor, I have one witness I'd like to call to the stand. Mr. Oliver Wendell Douglas. No, wait, did I get Objection! I'll allow it. You may question the witness. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do? Are you aware that you signed this statement exonerating Ponzi Corp from any responsibility attributed to a so-called two-headed fish? Yes. The prosecution rests. I'm pulled in both directions. Don't know which way to go. This is where I live. The only town I know. Green Acres is a part of me. Part of all of my history. But the law is crystal clear. for the plaintiff.